This is a TV mount that I purchased. Uh, we wanted a TV for our bedroom and uh, the best place that we had is kind of this open corner over here. We had a TV uh, just sitting on top of this little table. Um, we've got the receiver, a uh, little Blu-ray player that's a smart player. It's got all the apps and everything on it. Um, and then you've got your little uh, antenna. The white piece there is the antenna for the digital TV channels. But uh, this is just a Vizio 48-inch TV. I just want to show you how easy this thing is to install and how easy it is to use. Um, you can see the mount back here. The kit comes with this mounting plate. Um, as you can see, I've got a little cord management here. The cord's kind of coming up and going in this little clip that's on the bottom of the rail here. Uh, it's a two, there's actually um, one, two, three swivel locations here. Um, so this is the extension here. This kind of folds up together so that it goes up against the wall closer. And then the uh, plate itself that it came with has these, these are actually separate plates here. Um, they get screwed into this main back plate. If you look right here on the top, you can see where this plate that's on um, the back of the TV actually has this little rail that comes across and then there's a tab that's right here on the top. The tab is part of this arm and the little opening is mounted into this plate. So that's what goes over the top. This plate goes over the top of that clip. So it's going like this, this way, the plate goes this way, and the little tab goes up into that slot. And that's what holds it in place. So what you do is you take the screws. These screws came with the TV. These were just in the back of the TV. You adjust these arms in different uh, directions, different angles, and then there's this long slot here so that wherever your TV ends up um, finding a location in this slot so you can put the screw in to mount it to the TV. You take this whole plate with this mount, these arms on it, and mount it to the TV first. And then what you do is you, um, you come over here and take this bracket that's over here and take a, you have to have a stud finder, it does not come with this kit. Get a stud finder, you need to find the stud. You cannot run this into sheetrock. This has got to run into a stud. So what I did is I um, got my stud finder and found a stud in the location closest to the corner. Uh, not all the way in the corner, the, the arm of the, the, the length of this arm itself all the way out isn't long enough to get the TV away from the if the corner if I was all the way in as deep as I was into this corner here. So I've come out to this stud and uh, as you can see I still got some lines that were left over from marking the stud. I just marked the stud closer to the top of this plate and then closer to the bottom of this plate. The kit itself that comes with this mounting arm has a level with it. So then I just took the level, leveled up drew my line from the top to the bottom uh, for the stud location and then I just left the level it's got a magnetic side to it I just left the level stuck to the side of the metal arm here the TV isn't mounted at the time it's just from here from this pivot all the way to here this is the only part you have to hold up so you're just holding this up keeping this lined up so that it's in the center of the screw holes and so that it's when you're holding the level on here, it's level. You can check the bubble and make sure it's level. And you run some lag screws in that they give you. I believe there's two in the top and one in the bottom. And then once you're done, there's just these cover plates that just slide into place to go over it. So there you can see the, there's the two uh, lag bolts that are in the top here. Um, these two right here that you can see. And then this cover just slides over it, just kind of neatens that up a little bit. You're not looking at the bolts, but not necessary. Um, comes with it. Like I said, a little cord management, little clip here that you can slide your cables into. And then um, on this end, there are these, um, there's these two arms here. What these do is they clamp it so that you can tilt the TV out. So I've just tilted it to where we're always going to have the TV tilted to, and then just lock these down. Um, and then you find the spot where these plates need to be mounted uh, for the right distance um, for these holes to line up. 
where the screw is, that's the hole that's actually in the back of the TV. Um, as you can see, these are expanded out as far as they can go. I mean, I'm at the very end of the slots on all of these. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll post it in the description. I'll post the link in the I'll post the link for this um, mount in the description. I believe the max for this mount is 55 pounds. Uh, this TV I think is 26 pounds, so I'm half under what the total needed to be. Uh, total max could be for this mount, but um, I think this is the way this worked out if you're fully out to the end and all the arms are in the same Position all the way out to get to these screws. I think this is they go in metric It's 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter square. This is mostly put together this whole arm bracket all this is put together on the inside this mounting plate that's on the back of the TV is separate and then these little arms are separate and you put these together with screws that are supplied. This kit also has a, four washers and a bunch of different type of threads and lengths of screws so that if your TV doesn't come with the screws to mount a TV mount, a wall mount on, the kit that I bought actually comes with a bunch of different types of screws, different threads, different thread lengths, uh, so it actually gives you the ability to choose different screws in case you don't have them um, So once you have this mounted and once you have this plate mounted on the back of the TV The hardest part is you have to pick up the TV and Then come in here and get it so that the TV plate here Latches over the top of this tab That's the hardest part of the whole thing uh, figuring out where the screw screws go with the plate when you've got the TV laid down on it Put the TV lay it down on its face on the floor Put something on the floor if it's on carpet You should be fine, but put something down if you got hardwood You don't want to scratch the front of the TV up or get a get scratches on the outside trim of the plastic around the TV Or anything if you lay it down on the floor, but that's the easiest way to do it um, I put it up on the table and got the whole mounting kit for the back plate here together and then got this mounted on the wall and then brought the TV in, hooked the TV plate on the top of this swing arm mount tab here. And then there's a couple screws, one on each side that's down here, not this arm, but up underneath here, there's a screw right there. And that's what actually locks this in so that once you go over the tab, this thing can't fall off. And then it's just a matter of running your cable. So I've got the coaxial under here, uh, the white cable here. Try to get the light to change a little bit, but the white cable under here is the coaxial cable that goes to the um, antenna, and then this is HDMI that goes down to the Blu-ray. So, as you can see where this is at on the wall, I can take and articulate this around so I can have it out. Um, I made it so that I can have this out away from the wall um, and have the TV out as far as I can get it from this right side over here, but still be able to um, watch TV. Also, when it's in, it actually turns the TV towards the space between the end of our bed and a dresser. And that's where my girls like to set up. They like to put out a little mat here and bring some pillows down and a blanket. And they, they actually just like to sit on the floor and have a little cubby and watch TV on the floor. So um, that's nice because you can swivel this TV around. Like I said, you can, you can tilt the TV uh, forward and backwards with those two little um, arms in the back and um, you can turn the TV uh, left and right and also bring it away from the wall so I think it's well worth it this was really cheap I just bought two and while I was doing this one I went ahead and replaced the flat wall TV mount that came uh, when I bought the TV for our living room um, I bought that TV from Best Buy it's a sharp and it I bought a a flat wall mount that just had tilt and while I was doing this one because this one looked like such a cheap um, it was it was cheap not cheap as in quality but cheap in price I went ahead and um, upgraded the one in the living room as well so I think it's well worth it I think this is a super simple even the one in the living room you know the kids can just come up to it I've kind of showed them a little bit you know make sure you pull from both sides of the TV if you're gonna swivel it out but um, 
you could fold this up against the wall and get it out of the way and when you want to use it you just pull it out if it's in a place where it's not really bothering anybody if you can just leave it out just leave it out but i think it's well worth it i think it looks pretty strong it's pretty sturdy i don't think i'm gonna have any problems with it it's definitely not going to fall off the plate here where it mounts to the tv plate on the back here and it's definitely not coming out there i got i have three uh, lag screws that are into a stud in the wall there so that's not going to come out so um yeah i don't have any suggestions on any upgrades on this i think it works well just the way it is and uh, it's a cheap kit it comes mostly assembled it's really easy to figure out uh, the directions all make sense and so just follow the directions it comes with the manual i think this is a good i think this is a good purchase so i would suggest buying this um, I don't believe that it's it's not um, limited by the size of the TV. It's limited by the ability to go any further than the total uh, width height, the the width and the height between the screws on this plate and the weight of the TV itself. So pay attention to the weight of the TV and pay attention to the width of the mounts on the back of the plate, and that's what'll help you with making the decision on whether this works for you. I hope it does.